I don't sing very well, but I would like to learn. And David, I think, found a way to make singing a lot easier and a lot more fun for me to learn as a beginner. We recorded a two-minute mini song that's very 50s inspired that has all the elements of this plan. So we're going to make you hear the song and then we'll come back to the plan right after. Street lamps in the park To give you a little bit of context, I know three chords on the guitar and I'm the newbie. I don't know how to sing, but I would love to learn. David and I love writing songs together, but he's a mastermind. He plays all the instruments, he can record, he sings really, really well, so he's my teacher. To come back to the plan about making singing easier and more fun for beginners, I remembered when I started singing, I, I was not good and the biggest, biggest reason for that is because I was singing out of my range. It was hurting me and I sounded really bad. And as beginners, very often we we're not even aware of range. We just, on with a karaoke, we try to sing and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But range is a huge part of learning faster. Yeah, you have to find your sweet range, your comfortable range, and it's different for everyone. Hello, Nuts. <laughs> Someone's joining us. You want to come and hang out? We wrote a melody that would be super easy for Cynthia to sing. That's exactly in her sweet octave from G sharp mm. three to G sharp four. And this way, because I don't have to reach too high or too low, I can really focus on a comfortable range to improve my tone because I don't have a very good tone and to maybe try to work a little bit on vibrato and all that stuff. When I try to reach too high, it would get kind of too complicated because there's so many moving parts when learning how to sing and it feels like there's never any improvement. And for the people who know more about singing, specifically, we chose a song that was right below her head voice bridge. So she doesn't have to go from chest to head to head and do mixed voice and any complicated things. She could stay in a comfortable chest voice for the whole song. That's Except very important. Except for that screamy bit at the end, the belty bit at the end, but that was an extra that we added for fun. But the chorus and the verses are very comfortable for me to sing. Personally, when practicing, I would get very frustrated because it was kind of tedious to do scales and to do all those exercises you're supposed to do when you're trying to develop your voice. But I find that writing my own song, even if it's like the simplest little song to hum, makes it so that I want to practice I'm attracted to want to sing more because I wrote the song. So there's something really that is underrated about that. I don't think a lot of people think, oh, I'm gonna write my song to practice. No. 
but it's so much more fun just by trying to figure out what melody you want to come up with you're already practicing without knowing or without realizing and because it's your song you're likely to like it more or want to improve it more and you're focusing on making the song as good as you can instead of overthinking about your voice and all that time you're doing it it's practice time that doesn't feel tedious like scales no exactly it's it's goal oriented because yeah. you really like get that that little nugget at the end that that reward of hearing yourself on a finished song and it's your song essentially that's how i tricked myself into becoming a good singer i just decided even though I thought I wasn't good, I loved writing songs, so I wrote a bunch of songs. And, while and you became good because you wrote a whole bunch yeah. of songs. Well, to write songs, you have to sing those songs. and So it was a lot of practice time yeah. and you became good. So to make it fun, try to come up with your own melody. It's really not as hard as people think it is. Just humming, inventing a melody and like looping it, that makes it fun. And when it's fun, you do it more, and when you do it a lot, you get better. And as far as making it easy, it's that thing of keeping it in a yeah. comfortable, short range, that melody. Even if you want to like go higher because it feels good, trying to keep it simple and a tiny little range will make you focus more on tone and make it funner to practice. But the thing is, if you focus on that little bit that you're really comfortable and you really master that little range of yours, naturally it will start to expand more and more and you're going to get better with the other ranges. But focus on what you're best at right now. Because also when you see an improvement in an area that is more reachable, it gives you a boost of confidence and feeling like there's light at the end of the tunnel and you, you're thinking, oh, I can actually sound okay. So maybe this thing is really working because sometimes I felt like doing scales over and over again and didn't see any progress. But now by doing this, I'm tr starting to see a little bit of progress. And if you can't write your own song for whatever reason or you find it uninteresting, if you have a karaoke app, you can always move the range, make it lower, a bit higher. That's a big, big part of it. And slowing down the tempo so that you could feel more comfortable and not feel as rushed. Looping that song a lot, it's gonna help you improve a lot faster and also make it funner because it's gonna be easier. It's almost over, buddy. Come see mama. Come see, Come see mama. mama. Come see mama. If you like music vlogs like this or cute little puppies, Please subscribe, we're gonna do a lot more, and he's always gonna be there. Thanks for watching. Bye!